Good evening and welcome to Off the Lip, the show about surfing and skateboarding. If you'd like to join the show tonight, give us a call at 831-479-1080. That's 831-479-1080. And now, here are your hosts for tonight's program, Neil Pearlberg and Terry Campion. Good evening and welcome to Off the Lip. One word tonight, Mr. Jimbo Phillips is in the house. That's two What's words. Up? That's two words? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Jimbo Phillips, one word. Yeah, one what word. What was that disclaimer? What's that about? Are you we know, the only show on KSCO that's like, the express <laughs> day to whatever you're going to say is not our responsibility. <laughs> I feel like we're a politics show or what something. What is that? <laughs> Are we <laughs> the only show on KSCO that's like, get the disclaimer in front of those guys are swearing on the lot. The guys are swearing. Has some swear words. You would think we're evil or something. That was Steve Olson. That was a long time ago. I know. Was the last he only person s- swore. He only swore <laughs> once. Did Bruce McPherson swear? I think oh, he did. No, doesn't Obama swear? Come on. My co-host TC in the house tonight. Thank Good you to very see much. you. We on the, in the, and then we introduce the man. You know, hmm. legitimately, Mr. Jimbo Phillips is in the house with Colby Phillips. Colby, Twelve. how old are you? How old are you? Twelve. Twelve and. Also, another Grom, Lorenzo is in the house. Lorenzo, what's your last name? Because I forgot it already since you just told me about a minute ago. DeSaro. DeSaro. Now, your parents own the Star Bunny restaurant in Santa Cruz. They have some good food, huh, Jimbo? Uh, oh, it's really good. They got some good grub down there? Oh, man, it's excellent. Let's blow up the Star Bunny right now. Yeah, yeah man. Maybe we can get some, we get some free food. Hey, yeah. and they're open for lunch now, too. They are? Yeah. Okay. Maybe we can get some free grub mm-hmm. on and the Off the Radio way, Show. Uh, Lil Lorenzo is a shredding skimboarder. Oh, I yeah. thought he was a skateboarder. He is. He but on shreds a, everything? On a skimboard, he is a savage. Is it really? I didn't know that. Yes. Lorenzo, is that true? Yes. <laughs> Humble, too. <laughs> <laughs> we want to thank you for listening to the Off the Radio Show on KSCO. We are broadcasting from Santa Cruz, California. We are on Facebook, which, can, by the way, Due to Jimbo. <laughs> blew, blew up. We blew it up this <laughs> yeah, week. Yeah. Nice. Went viral. We went over a thousand. We're over a thousand <laughs> likes. We're, nice. all, we're big time right wow. now. Yeah, no check came in the mail, though, ah, well. from Facebook. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We are tweeting. We're on YouTube mm. covering it all. Mm. Bases are covered as far as the... Um, Social media aspect is concerned. Are we media <clears throat> moguls now? What's no, going we're on? Jeez. no, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. TC, uh, went, just want to let you know, I went to see TC race the other night, and TC, at the beginning of the year, said he wasn't going to be competitive. He was just going to cruise the track, going from making left hand turns, cruising. The most competitive man I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> He's nice. beating the crap out of people <laughs> with his 73 Camaro. <laughs> that was funny. Thank you. I go, yeah, he's not competitive this year. He's just going to cruise around the track and be easy. Uh-uh. No. You got to admit, I did, dirt, I, did, huh? I did try. I did try. You I, just rear-ended the guy. And see, yeah, it was pretty funny. That was great. Hold everything. Oh. I did not rear-end anybody. <laughs> Somebody stops in front of me. And you slammed into him. And good was, for you. He stopped sideways. That was very cool. Thank you. Jimbo, good to see you, my friend. Thank you. Thank How you. How are you? Here. Doing great. What's new in the, uh, we're going to talk about what's new in the Jimbo world. Oh, man, all kinds of stuff. Been doing uh, all kinds of graphics, been drawing my brains out. Right. Doing some art shows, been getting a little more into art shows now, and stuff. Now, <laughs> now I have to interrupt. He right. did say he's been drawing brains out. And that's like, <laughs> that's literally he's been drawing brains exactly. out. Exactly. That explains it perfectly, right? Yeah. <laughs> he is the brains drawer. You know, I should have him come. To, I had my ear surgery on Friday with Dr. Hetzler. Mm. I should have Jimbo come along so they can take a look inside my ears. Or maybe Drew some brains. You need a logo of a brain oh, you know exploding what? out Dr. of an ear. Dr. Hetzler should have a, br- have, have a logo done by Jimbo. Mm. Well, yeah. that yeah. would be sick. You know, the Phillips have been drawing ear logos for years. Have they really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Docs. Docs Pro Plug. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's right, huh? So, Jimbo, now we're, since we're streamed live on the Surf Channel, and the Surf Channel is from L.A., where okay. are your shows? You've got two shows coming up in L.A.? Yeah, I have a, uh, well, I had a, um, a Hellboy art show. Hellboy was a, a comic book that was adapted into a movie, and then uh, they had they invited like a hundred artists to do their version of Hellboy. Right. So I did that, and that art show was uh, last month, and that went off pretty good. Okay. And then now there's a uh, another one, kind of the same guy that's putting them on is doing one for Cartoon Network. Okay. And where's that at? 
That's down in L.A. at the Cartoon Network headquarters. Are you going down for that? Yeah, I'm going down for that. Yeah, very cool. And so it's all the all the cartoon characters. You got to do something involving one of them. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Which, and which cartoon character are you going to be drawing? I'm actually doing Jabberjaw. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so from the ton- '70s. Tonight, since this is Santa Cruz, we did invite all these groms down here to draw a logo mm. for the new skate channel. But since this is Santa Cruz. You know, it's just tough to get people to show up here. You know why? Because it surfs up, too. Oh, the the south swells Everyone firing. Everyone surfed out. <laughs> Pumping today. <laughs> south swells firing. <laughs> so you guys down south, sorry you missed out, but it is firing up here. They had yeah, You saw it this morning to oh, drain yeah. pipes, Jimbo. Oh, was yeah, it was firing. going off. But we have Colby in the house. Colby, you are like you, you got a chance to win this contest, which is you get a free skate deck, and you get, like, a mountain full of surf wax. Whoa. I don't know what you're going to do with that, but... He's going to rub it on every curb in Santa Cruz is what he's going to do with it. <laughs> if you totally. want to call in tonight, the phone number to speak to the one and only Mr. Jimbo Phillips is 831-479-1080 is the phone number to give us a call. And we have, um, oh, trivia tonight. Jimbo's giving away a, f- a signed print. A signed print by Jimbo Phillips is going to be the trivia prize tonight. So you, buy, you guys better get your phones ready and get ready to dial because this thing is absolutely spectacular. Hey, I, I found two of them. I don't know where the other one's going. I think I know where the other one's going. <laughs> I, just, so we're gonna I get brought one. one for backup. Just I know the other one's going. <laughs> I, know I didn't the other know. One's going. Was... So question, question. Let's go back to yourself, Jimbo. How's your dad doing? Because your dad, was the, he started all this, yeah. this whole thing. Oh, yeah. How's he doing? Is he doing good? Oh, he's doing really good. Yeah, he's been he's kind of semi-retired. He's just been like working around the house. He works on his car, right? And uh, he draws a little bit here and there, but nothing too stressful or strenuous. Right? No, no deadlines, you know. Well, when I to, when I went <laughs> to see Jim, when I wrote the article about him in the paper, I was when I came away from when I came away from that, this man made a, a living from skate, surf. Music, because he did all the... Yeah, the, rock the, posters. Rock posters mm-hmm. and hot rodding. I mean, that is, that's is that got to be a dream. Yeah. I made a living doing that. And is you, for you follow suit? Is that, your, is that where you try to follow suit? Yeah, I mean, he pretty much paved the way for that stuff, you know, and that's kind of where the fun is at, you know, with the surf skate and rock and roll, you know. It's like, you can't really go wrong. There's can't so much, go wrong with that. Yeah. Well, I was thinking today, because I know your dad is really into hot rods. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. like, Jimbo doesn't have a hot rod. Not yet. But my question is, what is Jimbo's hot rod going to be? Oh, man. <laughs> I'd like to Do get one of those, like, kind of rat rod, like a beat up, you know, one that's not too shiny or, you know, you could just kind of, like, thrash it a little bit, put surfboards on it. And well, Meekster can leave his sand in the floorboard. And yeah, exactly. Like yeah, gotcha. bring Meekster along. Yeah, yeah. Meekster can drop some sand. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> maybe, the dad will give, maybe your dad will give you your, his. That thing is a sweet ride. That's yeah. a, what is it, a 1929 Model A Ford pickup yeah. truck? Yeah, exactly. And what's his other truck? It's like a 50s or 40s truck, Yeah, right? 40, 49, I think, yeah. Which is beautiful. Oh, yeah. They just cherried it out. I know. Yeah. 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 Now, are you doing art for music as well, as skate, skate and surf? Yeah, I've been doing some CD covers and for rock posters. Whom? I did, uh, recently I did one for this band, Arden Park Roots. They're from uh, Sacramento. Okay. Really good reggae band, kind of in the Expendables vein, you know? Right, so. right. That's been good and now, stuff like that. Are you still playing in the band, Agent Orange? No, no. You guys disbanded? <laughs> Garen moved. Yeah, that's Southern right. California. Garen moved. Up. Yeah, so we kind of disbanded. So your, your musical, uh, your drumming days are over? Well, I got the drum set up in the garage, and so Colby's been playing drums, and I've been playing guitar. Uh, but the so. neighbors love it. I hope you got some stickers. Did you bring some down here for TC and I? I've been blowing those things yeah. out of the shop. They're You're, selling like hotcakes. They're yeah. selling? Yes, they're selling. Yeah, he's on his second sticker already. How yeah. much, uh, what kind of money are you making right now, a week, do you think? You're kind of making some cash? Kind of. What's kind yeah, it, of? It's here and there. You know, he's made like... He's spotty. He's like 10 bucks a week or something. That's you know, not, not bad. Too bad. Yeah. yeah what, are you, what are you doing with the dough? Getting, you, the new shoes you got, you got the other day at the boardroom, which, by the way, has got tons of new shoes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we picked up a pair when You're we were You're buying there. dinner. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, uh, are you buying the new shoes with your own cash, or are you still reaching into Dad's wallet? My parents buy them. Oh. 
He buy yeah. he buys some of his own stuff though. He's he's got his spending money, you know, for sell, from selling his stickers. So. so I got a question for Jimbo. Uh-huh. Has Colby out social networked you now? <clears throat> yeah. Oh yeah. Because yeah. I, I I follow both of you guys. Yeah. Colby's on fire. Oh yeah. He's, Dropping videos left and right. Totally. Yeah. I post like once a week. He's like every day, you know? <laughs> well, now, if your dad, let's, let's change this. If if we had social networking when you were coming up in the Philip studio, would you have been the social network guy? Oh, probably, yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. I, yeah. Get where I'm coming uh, yeah. to right now. Exactly. Uh-huh. Let's get Colby on well, the I mean, program. it's so it's such a useful tool to use, you know, to get information out to people, you know, so it's, right. it's what really was you, great. What was your earliest recollection, recollection of what your dad did for a living at, when you were a kid? Oh, man, he was he was doing art ever since I could remember. I mean, I, I was drawing just by watching him, you know, because he was always doing it, and I was an only child, so I just would naturally pick up a pencil and start you thought, drawing. You th- did you thought it was normal art or out of the, it was crazy art? Um, I mean, it was, uh, I was used to seeing it, but, like, people's reactions were always like, whoa, you right. know? Right. So I was, Do you have a favorite piece from your dad? Is there a favorite piece that you have? I mean, uh, I liked a lot of his, like, early, like, motorcycle work from right. the 70s. He did a lot of these motorcycle characters that were really cool. Right. But the, uh, the skateboard stuff has really, like, stood the test of time, you right. know? Right, it definitely has. Yeah. You are listening to the Off The Lip Radio Show on KSCO 1080. We ask you to listen and be heard. We are broadcasting from the surf and now skate capital of the world, mm. Santa Cruz, California. I'm here with my co-host TC. We'll be right back after these generous sponsors' commercials. Thinking of a vacation in Santa Cruz? Then contact Beach Nest Vacation Rentals at 831-722-0888 to make your reservation. The very best local vacation management company with their staff will take care of the tiniest of details to better your memorable Monterey Bay holiday. They are pet friendly with a choice of homes on or close to the beach in Santa Cruz and the Central Coast. For further information, go to beachnest.com or follow them on Facebook. Hello Highland Grill, corner Portola Drive and 17th Avenue, featuring mouth-watering plate lunch. We're proud to celebrate 10 years of serving the Santa Cruz community. And we'd like to send a shout-out to Neil and TC for doing a great job for over a year here with their Off the Lip radio show. We're open seven days a week, 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. Visit us on the web at alohaislandgrill.com. Like us on Facebook. For to-go orders, call 479-3299. Congratulations once again to Neil and TC for one year on the air. Aloha Island Grill is a proud member of Think Local First. Hi, it's Julie. And Simon with Toyota of Santa Cruz. How are you guys tonight? Hey, let's keep this short and sweet. If you want to get the best deal on any Toyota, new or used, come to Toyota of Santa Cruz. And remember, our service department's open seven days a week, so it's parts and our shuttle. So we will take care of you. Just come in and buy a car. Come down and check out our certified pre-owned center. We have a huge selection, one of the largest selections of pre-owned cars in the Santa Cruz County. If you're looking for Tacomas, Prius, Camry, uh, we have them. We have a huge selection. So one place to go, drive them all. We'll make it real easy for you. Come down, check us out. If you don't want to get off the couch and drive down to the dealership, start shopping online at SantaCruzToyota.com. Then come and see me or Simon, and we'll take care of you. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Just kidding. (laughs) Hi, this is Steve Pereira, the beach guy in Santa Cruz, California. And here's the brains of the outfit. I'm Diane Pereira, Mrs. Beach Guy. We've been selling beach properties since 1982. Come find the coastal vibe here in Santa Cruz. We'll help you find the perfect home or sell your home. We love what we do. We want to help you. So call us at 831-425-SAND. That's 425-7263. Or find us on our website, www.lifesabeach.com. We'd love to help you. And we are back with the Off The Radio Show on KSCO, streaming live on the Surf Channel. We are now going to have, what should we do now? Trivia? Oh, trivia. Oh, we got to blow up Felix. Trivia. Felix wrote me nice emails. He's stoked to be part of the show. This portion of the sh- no, the trivia question tonight is brought to you by Felix. Sand Sand Dollar, Dollar, Sand Dollar, Dollar, Dollar Digger Fair. If your board is munched, crunched, <laughs> messed up, dinged up, wrecked, Lorenzo'd, Colby'd, 
Okay? <laughs> you need to get it, get it fixed at Sand Dollar Ding Repair 722-4060. A munched board. A so munched. That's a bad one, huh? Yeah. A munched. Yeah, if you munched It's almost beyond repair. But you know the good news is? Yeah. Felix at Sand Dollar can fix a munched board. He can. He can. You know, like, even a Costco board. I saw more Costco boards today. Just take it back and get a new one. Blow it off the roof. Does he fix shark bite boards? I don't know. <laughs> he actually probably could. He probably has. Yeah, huh? he probably has fixed yeah. one. So if, put, this up, put that photo up to the screen. If people are watching streaming right now. We have, Jimbo, what do we got here? This is the Skull Blast print. And Skull Blast print? Skull Blast, yeah. Okay, and it's going to be signed by Mr. Jimbo Phillips. 18 uh, by 24. You can pick it up at the Santa Cruz boardroom. It is sick. Okay, caller number, let's make Chris work tonight. Caller number, should we go eight, TC? Eight. Caller number eight. Wow. Okay, for this beautiful, amazing piece of Jimbo Phillips artwork signed. The trivia question is... Hold on, and I want to say, Jimbo, oh, how ahead. many did you print of those? Uh, I only made 10 so far. So. Oh, yes. It's rare. Yeah, they're pretty and limited. So, I mean, it's just, it, yes, I know. It is a really neat piece of art. So that's a great prize. If you're listening, call 10 times. 479-1080. <laughs> 479-1080. Area code 831. Last week's guest, the beautiful, the amazing, the voice of Chrissy Rue Sweets was from what state? What state was she from? The hmm. phone number, 831-479-1080. Call the number eight. If, the only call, if you're the only caller, call eight times. You know, if you missed that show, you should watch it on YouTube. She is un freaking believable. I that heard it, yeah. That girl can sing opera like No Tomorrow. She, Amazing. Yeah, it was great. What do you got, TC? Well, I wanted to talk about when you first started surfing. Because I, you had your father's influence on surfing has to be everything. Yeah, and yeah, did it was he, huge. Did he, was he the one that took you to the beach? Yeah, yeah, he took me. I mean, he took me when I was probably five years old, and it was just a little too early. You know, waves slapped me in the face and started crying, and <laughs> that was it for a while. And then I think he just kind of waited till I showed interest in it, and then me and my buddies, like probably 10, 10 years old, started getting fired up, boogie boarding and stuff, and then we're like, we want to surf, you know? And so he took us out to Cowles and got us going on boards, and we were just on ever since we... You know, as soon as we got going. Are you still surfing? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Getting Colby out in the water once in a while. Colby, you, know? you got to get in the water some more, my friend. Yeah. we got to get you back out there. Well, I yeah. know you are always with Colby. Mm -hmm. You know, I see you two together all the time. And obviously, I think you're, you're as a father, you're doing a killer job. It, Thank you. Did that influence come from Jim? Is he, was he that kind of dad to you? Yeah, yeah. He was, he was a great dad. I mean, uh, he took me surfing and skateboarding. And, you know, I didn't have any brothers or sisters, so I spent a lot of time with him drawing. And he had a, he had a really big influence on my life, for sure. And when did Colby say, I want to draw? Um, he's just been, he just does it. He just, all of a sudden I look over and he's just, he's just picks up paper and he's going on something. And, and do you, like, if he doesn't do an eyeball hanging out right, you're like, hey, dude, let me show you how to make an eyeball hang out. Yeah. I mean, it, he'll ask me when he kind of wants the help and I, I'm always glad to help him, but I try not to pressure him or stifle now, his creativity. Have you, have you got anything from him? Any ideas from him? Like, oh, that's new. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You have? Yeah. Some Colby, some Colby original. It's always good, like, if you're drawing something, and show him and say, what do you think? And if he goes, oh, then you know you're on the right track, you know? <laughs> hey, Colby, <laughs> are you just thinking I'm going to be an artist? Yeah. I mean, is that, but is that kind of what your, your plan is? Is like, I'm going to, I want to stay in this and continue and do it? Yeah. Yeah, and, and what's your favorite stuff to draw? I mean, I know you do some amazing faces, but what is, like, your favorite type of stuff to draw? Um... <laughs> I'm pointing don't at my t-shirt. No, don't listen to him. He me. wants you to say dog jam. No, <laughs> don't, listen, don't listen to me. Okay? Um, like monsters, probably. And what's your favorite thing you've drawn so far? And don't look at him. No. Um, <laughs> I'm hiding behind the screen. The sticker I did, probably. The zombie one. The zombie. The and that's, is that your first... I mean, I know that's been published, but is that like your... Your most proud moment is seeing those stickers, like at the boardroom in the case and stuff. Yeah. That's so where cool. can we get these stickers? Where can the public get these stickers? SantaCruzBoardroom.com. A bunch, a bunch yeah. of shops around town are starting to sell them, but we I got them at Santa Cruz Boardroom. Yeah. We got them at Maiden Santa Cruz on the Wharf. Okay. We got them at um, Natural Motion, and we also have them at um, 
What's the other place? So oh, Scotts Valley at uh, Cali Style. Okay, so go. they're out. They're out and about. Yeah, they're good. You know, and uh, just to let you guys know, they're they're selling really good. Okay. Right? Oh, that's great. And, and it's the quality of the print on them. Do you great? Yeah, great yeah. We went for top notch printing on the sticker printing because mm -hmm. there's a lot of cheap stuff out there. Okay, we got Vince on the phone. Vince, are you there? That's me. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. Good. You have a question for any one of these gentlemen here? No, I just wanted to comment on Jimbo and his pop and just say what a huge influence they were on the surfing industry and the skateboard industry here in Santa Cruz and how much uh, we all appreciate and admire them. Thank oh, you. Thank, thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Thanks, Vince, for calling me. Appreciate your good words. Thank you, my friend. Well, we talk about all that right, all guys. the time. Yeah, right on, Vince. Thanks for the call. It could be, you know, in the story, there's a lot of art hanging up in there, and a lot of it's Phillips based. And your collection of rock posters are in there. Yep. People right. love it. Okay. Yeah. Colby. Oh, hell, I got to interrupt. We have a oh, winner. We do? Yes. It was Who's Melanie the winner? Bewley. Melanie Bewley. Yep. Congratulations, Melanie. We'll be giving you a call, and you picked up the boardroom, but I'll call you to, just to make sure you get that. Yep. You are going to be stoked. This thing here is sick. Oh, Colby, great. give me your granddad's favorite piece. That you like, that you love, that your granddad. You but it, it wasn't even on mm -hmm. a skateboard till like the 2000s. Can you talk to us a little bit about the obviously the the most famous piece is probably the red dot, right? T well, it's, uh, if you were to say like what has sold the most, I would say for sure. I mean, it's in every shirt or Everyone the indie kids. indie logo, the indie cross. Yeah, yeah. right. That's I mean, you want to talk to us about the red dot for a second? How what, that came about? And yeah, the the red dot was. Uh, that was early on, like, 74, 73, when Santa Cruz was just starting, and it was actually just the strip at first, you know, Santa Cruz right. in, a, in a long strip. And then uh, they stacked it and put it in a red logo, you know, because red is the kind of the most powerful color. Right. And uh, I think that was a big part to do with uh, Jay Sherman, who was yeah. early on in the in Santa Cruz. Novak's NHS. always Novak's always giving credit to Jay for that. He wanted yeah. it to be bright red and yellow. He went to a, he saw red somewhere that those were the power colors. Right. And yeah. Jay was really creative and had a good eye for what worked and stuff. It's, you, you know, it's the sad thing about Jay Sherman is I wish that dude was still around. Oh, I right? know, man. The stories. Yeah. You are listening to the Off the Radio Show. Our guest tonight is the one and only. Mr. Jimbo Phillips. Here with his son, Colby Phillips, and we have Lorenzo. What's his last name again? <laughs> Lorenzo, tell me your last name again, kiddo. Desaro. Desaro from Star Benny Restaurant. By the way, we're going to Star Benny for dinner tonight. <laughs> yeah. I am yeah. so stoked. I'm rolling in yes. there. Oh, man. So, uh, Lorenzo, which piece of art is your, your favorite, the Jimbo's? Do you have one? Um, Make it snappy. Not really. They're, you don't? They're just all... I actually did a design for Star Benny. He's wearing the shirt right there. You did? Yeah. You got to turn, turn around. Spin around, turn around. Yeah. Spin around, kid. It's the, it's the guy wolfing down spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sick shot. We also did a surfing meatball one where he's surfing a wave of spaghetti. That did you really? Cool. I yeah. saw that one. Yeah. Uh, Jimbo, your favorite skater? Favorite skater? Apart um, from Colby. Um, probably Steve Caballero. Cabby? Yeah. Okay. And uh, I would say Emmanuel Guzman for kind of the new new guys. Okay. Yeah. Skate movie. Favorite skate movie? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, it's got to be uh, Speed Freaks. Okay. Yeah. Your favorite place to skate? Favorite place to skate is actually Jose Park just because it's right by my house. Oh. And, uh, yeah. I thought it'd be the quarter pipes in front of the house. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, nothing beats that cement, the smooth cement, you I know? You. Yeah. So... We've, what TC and I have learned is now we've broadcasting on the Surf Channel. The the skate is what's more is far greater than surfing, uh, as far as what viewership is concerned. Is this you know everyone talks about Santa Cruz being the surf capital of the world, blah right. blah, blah blah. Is it the skate capital as well? I think so. Yeah. Is there any bit greater than here? As far as for TC, you obviously you would know. You know what? If you took T-shirts out of the equation, you know, it, I, well, let's just say it. I mean, Southern California is so vast and huge, so you can't right. really compare dollar volume. But Santa Cruz is a small little town that's contributed to the surf and skate industry bigger than any small town. Yeah. And Santa Cruz has been around longer than any company, so that name has just kind of been stapled into the skate history. You know? Right, right. 831-479-1080 is the phone number if you want to call in. 
with a question or just say hi to Jimbo. Tell him thanks a lot because he's put this to help put this town on the map. And his family's helped put this town on the map, too. So with the Phil's family, the Santa Cruz is, is where it is as far as surfing and skating. And they're a big part of the fabric of the surfing and skate community. Right, TC? Yeah, yes. yes. What do you got for the guy? Well, I was, I was going to ask about your, your wife, Jennifer. Uh-huh. <laughs> Does she ever have nightmares of exploding brains and stuff? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I <gotta swear. laughs> you know, she, uh, she, it doesn't really affect her much. And, but she has, a, she has actually a really good eye for stuff. And I bounce colors off her. And what do you think about this and stuff? And she always gives me a straightforward, honest opinion. And if she says it's no go, then I usually listen. And you she's know? involved in your day-to-day -day business as well. Yeah, she helps him out with the yeah. business. Yeah. Do you? Have, you must have nightmares. You could, you, you're coming up with all the brains and the thing. It's, well, the thing have, is, I mean, look at this picture over here. It's like it's, it's like got, it's uh, therapeutic. You know, you get it out on paper, and then it's like it's on the paper. It's not it's your your, brain anymore. So, what kind of what kind of dreams do you have? Well, a lot of times uh, when I just, go to bed at night and I yeah. can't sleep is when I think of ideas for designs, and right. I'll just you know after I'm done reading or watching TV, I'll just kind of sit there and think of designs, and uh, I usually think of like what are really intense kind of expressions of like a face or a body or something. And it's kind of where I come up with those like exploding heads and stuff. Okay, so I, I said on Facebook, we're going to delve into the mind of Jimbo Phillips. What's in there right now? What's, what's sitting on like the tip of your tongue that you're going to go home and draw tomorrow or the next day and go, ah, it's, it's, I got something, I got something. Well, the funny thing is that uh, this guy just did a little article on the uh, internet and it, he called it, uh, he called me the greatest snot artist. <laughs> <laughs> he did. I thought that was a pretty funny title. Yeah. <laughs> so, but a lot oh of people know me for like the oozy, like liquids. You know, it's just kind of coming the, out. The you snot know, snot look. Yeah, it's but it's like sweat, snot, uh, blood, fluids. <laughs> just kind of they all intermingle all and kind of. And my favorite, the shark fin. Oh yeah, the shark fin. <laughs> that's a staple. You now, know, tell I, us about the shark fin because because people here have never heard you before. Tell us about the shark fin. Well, the. You know, I do a lot of, like, surf scenes with, like, little guys and stuff. And so you always got to squeeze the little shark fin in there somewhere, you know? every Every surf picture you have have a shark fin in it? Almost always, Pretty yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. And, a, and a seagull. Well, that, yeah. That took another poop on someone. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's pooping on someone's head, yeah. I don't think I got a shark fin on the Off the Lip logo, <laughs> I know, but... I know. Damn I know. It. We can still add it in, though. We need a shark fin, for sure. Yeah. That's right. I want to thank Jimbo, because... Um, Jimbo did the... Uh, we should tell the story of what, how J we got the logo from Jimbo. <laughs> so Jimbo... I'll tell the story really quickly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You've got Felix on the phone here. Hang on a second. Felix, are you... Is this the Felix? Oh, my God. I didn't know I was going to actually be connected with you, you guys. Are, is this the <laughs> one and only? You're such a big part of the show, my friend. I... You guys are awesome, Jimbo. So glad you're on there. Oh, Dude, thanks. I, What's up, Felix? I saw, trivia, I saw I saw what the prize was, and I'm like, I gotta call in. No, you you got killed by who beat you? I, uh, Melanie Bewley's gonna. Huh? Melanie Bewley has it on eBay already for a hundred bucks. <laughs> hey, Felix. Felix is TC. I got a question for you. We always yeah, every week we talk about that you can fix anything. Can you actually fix yeah. any ding surfboard? Yeah, I can't. It's just a question of how much you want to spend. Thank you. Okay, so when we, because okay. we always say you can fix it if it floats. Yeah, you know, Fe with make Felix, sure. cash is it's, king. You got the cash, you'll it's, fix it's it. It's really true. Well, you know, but 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 please understand, though, too, I also talk people out of stuff. If it's a lost cause, right? I, I, the, the phrase I like to use, it's like doing plastic surgery on a cadaver. There's no <laughs> point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> got you, Roger that. And Felix, uh, we were looking for an uh, intern for you. Have you gotten that sewn up? Yeah, man, I think I'm good. I got two solid guys in there, and things are going good. You're shaping, his own, you're shaping your own boards now, too, right? You're still doing that? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's just a hobby. Yeah. I've been doing that for, for a little while now. Thanks, but, Felix. Uh, I'm hey, uh, sorry you didn't win tonight, too, Felix. Yeah, you're too slow, Felix. I have more oh, prints, though, too. Felix, if you, wanna, <laughs> if you want one, let me know. Uh, Jim, Felix, hey, Felix, do I owe you any money for that ding repair job? That would be unreal. What? Do I owe any money for my ding repair job? Can you take care of your business outside the radio <laughs> show? No, we're good. We're good. <laughs> All right, good. awesome. Thanks, yeah, Felix. I definitely want to get one of those prints, though, Jim. Oh, that thing's sick. Oh, okay, yeah, awesome, sick. Felix. I'll, hey, I'll, 25 I'll bucks at the boardroom. 25 bucks at the boardroom. He's on it. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. See you, <laughs> buddy. See you later. All Thanks right, for calling, bud. Have a good one. Bye. 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 TC? Felix is amazing. Okay, so Jimbo... That was a good call. Was, Jimbo was going to be the, the original host of the Author Radio Show. After TC, you turned me down originally. I was too busy. And we came in here to rehearse. And TC, now you were going back and forth, jibber-jabbering. It was T Jimbo's turn to, like, talk in the microphone. And 
I, I had a little bit of a yeah. stage fright at stage first. Stage fright. Yeah, nothing mic came, microphone froze. And nothing came out. But look at you. You're a natural right, right now. Right. Now he's on fire. He's used yeah, to it. So he loose. ran out of here. He ran out of here and texted me, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't do it. I'm like, dude, I just sold you on the whole thing. I'm stuck without a co-host. So yeah. I said to TC. Well, TC was a natural, too. I right. could tell he had right. that. So he, he yeah, had as, soon as, he had the, as soon as TC got a microphone, he's, t- oh, he's sold. Come on now. Yeah. So come I said, on Jimbo, if you, I'm going to let you out of your contract. Not that you have any contract. <laughs> but uh, you have to do me a logo. And, T- and Jimbo did the most amazing off the Bayer show logo. People asked me for stickers and T-shirts all day long. By the uh, way, we need to print T-shirts. We should. Okay, yeah. so any, we need to have some T-shirts mm-hmm. made and get some stickers out there for people. You haven't made a T-shirt yet? We, we did. They all, oh, they, all, they all got sold out. They're all gone. Blew yeah. Them out. Oh, yeah. They all yeah. got sold out. You are listening to the Off the Lip Radio Show on KSCO. We're here tonight with Mr. Jimbo Phillips, Colby Phillips, and Lorenzo Di Sanzo. Sorrow. Sorrow. God, I'm not, I'm not having any dinner. Too many Christmas. Uh, you're, you know, you're, when I have my ear surgery, I think Dr. Hetz is going to work on my, my memory, too. By the way, there you go. Where, your pasta tonight is going to be so overcooked. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back after this commercial. Hey, this is Susie from Flip Flop Shop Santa Cruz with a special offer for the Off the Lip Radio Show listeners. Now through April 15th, get 10% off when you mention the Off the Lip Radio Show and how much you love Neil and TC. We've got some great new styles and brands for spring. Sanook being one of them. Happy, friendly, and fun. Check it out. We've listened to our customers. You guys have asked for arch support sandals. We got them. Bionic. You've also asked for larger sizes. Now carrying 17 and selected brands and styles. Protect yourself with sunny sun bum sunscreen flip flop shop santa cruz we are located 1528 pacific avenue downtown santa cruz follow us on facebook and instagram come join the fun at save the waves eighth annual fundraiser life is a wave friday may 30th at 111 minna in downtown san francisco help us honor chilean big wave surfer and patagonia ambassador ramon navarro for his environmental work Enjoy live music from Afro Samba Sensation Samba Da and top DJs. Win big in our spectacular live and silent auctions, all to raise money for Save the Waves environmental programs. Buy tickets and get more info at www.savethewaves.org, and we'll see you there. Hey, Off the Lip Radio, going nationwide. Neil, TC, want to put my support out there for you guys. And thank you all for supporting People's Coffee. I'm uh, Kurt, the owner here. We're on the corner of 17th and Bromer in Live Oak Plaza. Wow, we just made seven years. So we're here to stay. We're not going anywhere. We put out an amazing cup of coffee. If you haven't been down to check us out, take a moment. We don't disappoint. We care about your happiness. People's Coffee, corner of 17th and Bromer. We will not let you down. This is Dave Nelly Nelson. Tim runs the show up at the La Viega. He makes sure that the greens are rolling pure and that the course runs at a good pace. We all love him. I would have to say the best surfing golfer in Santa Cruz is Nelly. And the biggest sandbagger in town is? Well, I've had a chance to play a few rounds or a round with Nelly, and uh, he'd be the one. What makes Nelly so formidable as a sandbagging golfer? Well, he's playing eight days a week now up there and, uh, you know, doesn't miss a day. I don't know how he's working or how he's surviving, but his golf game sure has improved. I like to go up to day law and just heckle my friends, see if I can conjure up a match and win some money off some people. I always like to take Luke Rockhold's money, but Bud Freitas and Jason Ratboy Collins are probably the funnest to take their money. I've had three hole-in-ones so far. I've only played uh, one match with Tim, lost a lot, and I birdied the last hole to beat him by one. It was a beautiful day. I like all the holes up there. There's some challenging ones. We've had Kelly Slater, Timmy Rays, and many, many more pro surfers up. We always bring them to De La Viega. It's the best course in town. <laughs> we, are, we are back with the Off the Radio Show. Listen to this. You yeah. ready? Free coffee. If you guys want free, F-R-E-E-E-E-E, coffee. People's Coffee is offering free coffee. You're going to go in there and mention Off the Lip Radio Show. You get a... F- of the grand prize adult section this way. Oh, you want me to get this out of here? Who won? Okay, how's that? Who wins? Um, this was Pat Williams. Okay, Pat, yeah. good job. Next. Yeah, Pat, next up, this is a, this is a seven-year-old okay. Juju Bartlett. Juju Bartlett, congratulations, yeah. Juju. Did an excellent Winner. job. This made a tie for the first in the 8 to 12-year-old. Okay. This is uh, Kayla Magdalero. Kayla. And then we also had 
the ten year old Bryn Angel. Good An job, Bryn. Angelo. Well done. Bryn killed it. And then uh, this is this is a uh, Bella uh, de Goglia won. Good job, Bella. Pleasure point girl. All yeah, right, cool. She won the team division. Very cool. So listen, Colby, I am declaring you the winner of the Surf Channel uh, logo contest. So what you have to go do now is you have to make a logo for the Skate Channel, okay? Not only do you win a skateboard deck, brand new skateboard, whole, the whole thing, you get surf wax for a year, plus a logo for a, for a channel. Hold everything. That's let's, awesome. Let's just, let's just get this right. Why? Isn't it like 30 million people have the surf channel it's and skate channel? Be skate channel is going to be huge. If you do the logo, <sighs> Dang. Okay, you got to put Dang your... Is right. I think you're going to collaborate. <laughs> Jimbo, you, you might want to steal that job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Some> <laughs> I think you should collaborate with dad, granddad, grandma, wow. everybody. In the yeah. fill, fill, collaborate with your damn cat. Get yeah. your sister involved in that one. Everybody oh, yeah, involved. Yeah. We got Peter on the phone from Santa Cruz. Hi, Peter. How you doing? Hey, guys. Great. Uh, just a, a couple quick points. Uh, people's coffee. Yep. Free Wi-Fi. Don't don't ever That's uh, right. discount that. Free Wi-Fi. And, and when you're talking, yeah. And when you guys are talking about Toyota, Julie is the real deal. Julie is she's the real deal. By the way, she's the open. Dude. She's open right now. Julie. <laughs> she's got cranes. <laughs> She's got bulldozers, and she's still sending out cars. Look at Pete right now. He's just dominating our, ad, Peter, our advertising. Peter. Way to go, Pete. <laughs> Peter. Hey, hey, hey. This is a program. And, and this is, you know, we're not talking about people that are, are, are not local or not trying to support the whole community. Right. I, I'm not here to, you know, sell that. Julie's a, yep. she's a really cool girl forever. Yep. And Jimbo. Yeah. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I got a question. Did you ever get a chance to see uh, the um, documentary Robert Crumb? Crumb. Oh, yeah. I did see that. That's a great one. Yeah, oh, I get man. I get a lot yeah. of Crumb comparisons on my art. Yeah. You, you know, for me, the, the thing that really stuck out was during the interview, he's drawing while they're talking to him there. In that, remember that in that Berkeley Cafe? Oh, yeah. I mean... Yeah, this guy is just a relentless artist, and I, I wanted to congratulate you on that same kind of comparison. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for calling, Peter. Yeah. We appreciate it, my friend. Yeah, Pete, good to hear from you. Talk to you soon. Hey. Oh, go ahead. Talk to you later. Yeah, cheers, mate. Hey. TC. Wow. Does it ever trip you out that you're like a famous artist? Yeah, it's weird. You know, you, you know I'm just at home drawing stuff in my art table, and then... Uh, you know, it goes out, I email the artwork out, and then it just it goes out. I don't even know where it's going. It's out there, like, partying with people. And, and then all of a sudden, I run into someone months later, and they're like, that one piece. Oh, my God, I love that, you know? and That happens a lot. Yeah, and, it's crazy. And, but you're a point now in your life to your... You're, like, so established. You're invited to these big art shows now, and you're, like, signing boobs and stuff. And it's like, <laughs> you, you are? <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Does his wife know that? Oh, no. Is he yeah. signing boobs? Well, <laughs> maybe he signed hers once or twice, but I'm just saying. You, Colby's it, going, Dad. I mean, uh, did you, did, were you expecting that coming down the line? As you, you know, I wasn't. Going? You know, in my dad's time, it wasn't really like that. It was, uh, I think he was kind of ahead of his time as far as that kind of art goes, and now there's a lot more appreciation for artists you know brands will kind of put the artists out there first like you know they collab with artists as before it was just you were lucky to get your stuff on a t-shirt at all and they wouldn't give you you couldn't even sign your name on it you know and now they put your name you know as an artist on it and exactly artist well, series and all well, this stuff let's take nhs out of this equation what piece or company have you worked for that you're most proud of outside of anything nhs um, you know, I, I did, uh, um, uh, I did a line of clothing with Volcom and that was really cool because, uh, they really, they put my name like just as big, if not bigger than their logo on, on the stuff, you know, they really pumped my name and then they, uh, they sent me over to Europe to do some art shows over there and I met all kinds of people and they really, they knew how to do it right, man. So it was really cool. And you were you just in South America, was it last year, doing yeah. a show down there? Yeah. There was a lot of people came to see you. Yeah. Yeah, it was amazing, man. They were lined up. You know, you don't realize, you think you're going to go down there and be a nobody. And then all of a sudden these people come out of the woodwork wow. with their skateboards. And they're like, oh, we love skateboarding. Well, and we, we weren't going to talk about this, but I'm going to bring it up. Anybody gets plagiarized by a New York, you know. Yeah, well, uh, sure. Cl clothing designer. Yeah. Right. Well, He's doing something right. 
Yeah. And does that, sure. that, that help? Did that help business? More than more than hinder it. I'm like, you, this guy did that, and Jeremy Scott, as it were. You know, it kind of brought all the. It kind of like put the line in the sand, and all the skaters like stepped about over to my side, and like, you know. How much support did you had? Did you have from that? Oh, it was great. I mean, people were just like freaking. People out. were really upset about. It. They were mad that what this guy had done, that he had taken what they love and like, you know, stomped on it. You know, so people were really stood up for it, and it was really amazing to see. You know, just the the support for the art. I'm going, I'm going to Santa Cruz Skateboards. What was your first gig with them? Well, I started Pumps, working sweep, there. Sweeping in, the floor? Oh, yeah. I mean, I started working there in high school, like uh, 1986, sweeping the floor in the, in the sanding room. And then I did, uh, I did sanding. I did uh, shipping. I did pretty much a lot of jobs in the, in the warehouse assembly. I assembled skateboards. And then after high school, my dad, uh, the art was blowing up. You know, the skateboards were just skyrocketing. You know, it was more work than he could handle. So he hired me and probably what do you five pay? other artists. What did he pay you? I mean, it was like minimum wage, you know. Five like, bucks an hour. Yeah, yeah. It was, and <laughs> even that, was, you kind of had to start at the bottom, you know, just like, you know, you had to clean the toilet the first day. That was, you know, everyone had to do that. And then, and then he'd give you more jobs and he'd right. have you draw something and, you right. know, you just keep working your way up. Very and, cool. How yeah. was Meekster back then working with him? Oh, man, it was great. we go surfing at lunchtime, and <laughs> <laughs> we drank, like, Mountain Dew and ate hot peppers every day, and it was crazy. <laughs> Everyone complained about the sand from Meekster. It's oh, a, yeah. yeah the pile cool. of sand under the table. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to the Off-Bit Radio Show. I want to thank our sponsors for sponsoring the show, because without them, it's not happening. If you want to sponsor the Off-Bit Radio Show, you can reach me at OTR Radio Show at gmail.com. I want to thank Chris, our engineer, for uh, being our loyal engineer tonight. We'll be right back after this commercial. Chill Out Cafe on 41st Avenue Santa Cruz is not just a block from some of the world's best surf, but it is also where you can go relax and order the tastiest grub before and after your sesh. Plump burritos, fresh salads, sky-high sandwiches, and a superb selection of hot and cold drinks. They have something for you. Go to chilloutcafesantacruz.com to view their menu and to place your order to go, call 831-477-0543. Chill Out Cafe, where they roll the fatties. This is TC from the Santa Cruz boardroom. If there's one thing I know, it's that everybody listening wears shoes. Check it out. Santa Cruz boardroom has 3,000 pairs of shoes in stock from the best brands in the business. Nike, Adidas, America, Lakai, Converse, Globe, and Supra. Come on down. Check out our 3,000 pairs of shoes. Pick up some new tread for your feet and be happy. Santa Cruz Boardroom, 825, 41st Avenue, open every day of the week. And we are back with the Off the Lip Radio Show on KSCO. TC. Earlier I was asked what number show this is. I don't know, 64 or 5, my uh, God, I forget. I don't know. Um, this South Swell we have running right now and is blowing out there. Time to go downwinding. We should try that, TC. I'm into it. Go some downwinding. If okay. you want to go downwinding, go see Scott at Cove Water Paddle Surf. They are down on Water Street. He's got a million boards in their SUPs. We should try that downwinding. I want to troll a hoochie while I do it. What's trolling a hoochie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fish while I downwind. Is that what he called it? <laughs> yeah. Trolling. You know what? <laughs> Multitasking. Hey, Colby, you know what trolling a hoochie was? No. <laughs> okay, now you can see, now you know. So you come down here, off the radio show, you get educated. What, mm -hmm. do you want, what, what do you want? But anyway, go see Scott at Cove Water, or you can visit him at covewater.com. at C O V E water.com. Can you just fill us in really briefly what downwinding is? It is taking a paddle board, it's 12, look, it's 12 foot long or 14 foot and up, and you go out there and head, go from, da from Davenport, for example, head down to the uh, wharf, and you can actually ride the swell. Not the swell's not breaking, but you can ride the waves. It's, it looks pretty cool. There you wow. go. We used to do it windsurf when I was growing up. It was great. Yeah, I should go try it. I'm into it. Let's do it. You know, you're busy. Go. You're a busy guy. I'm, I'll you're make time. Busy. I'll make time. You're too busy <laughs> rearing <laughs> people on the racetrack. Have, have Harbor <laughs> Patrol on standby though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. So uh, Jimbo, before coming to the end of the show, what's coming up in the? You want to just give us your the show coming up in LA one, one more time for the okay, Southern Californians yeah. when it yeah, comes I to you? Yeah, I got the the Cartoon Network uh, art show is, uh, is June open, 16th. Open to the public. 
Republic? Yeah, it's at the Cartoon Network headquarters, like right in the main office. So. Okay, what are you going to have? Your art they're going to be there? Well, there's other artists, too. They invited like 50 artists to do their renditions of different cartoon characters. Each artist is doing a different cartoon character. Okay. So. Hey, what's your medium for that? What are you doing? Um, for the Hellboy show, I did um, I did acrylic on like uh, some really like poster board, you know, and then I framed it. So uh, I, I was thinking maybe doing a skateboard though for this one, just to kind of bring it back to the skate influence, you know. Oh, that's what I was asking. I yeah. didn't know if you were doing it on skateboard or not. Yeah, I mean, after looking at the uh, the other art show, I was like, oh man, I should have done it on skateboard. So I think I'm gonna go back that route because it kind of like reminds people where the art came from and, and stuff. And you always support Board Rescue and their art show. Oh, yeah. And that's a skate deck art show. Yeah. Colby, you doing it again this year, Board Rescue? Yeah. yeah? Okay, awesome. Yeah. And Jimbo, your website, please. Uh, you it's jimbophillips.com. Okay. And I have, a new, uh, I have a new little online store on there, so you can get Ooh. stickers, posters, skate decks, T-shirts, all kinds of we stuff We take credit there. cards, American Express, the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, it's all PayPal. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. so the money's rolling in. Well, yeah. you got to remember, too, you've done so many iconic logos. I was just hearing Justin say, uh, we want to do a logo. If somebody wanted you to do a logo, they can reach you through your website? Yeah, yeah. I have a contact on there. They can just hit me right on there, and yeah. And you can negotiate there. prices and deal with all that. Exactly. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. Colby, do me a favor. Go open the front door for my friend Chrissy Rue's Sweets, would you please? Thank you very much, my friend. Good. Hey. She's, Chrissy's here tonight. Just popped in to get her p signed picture by uh, Jimbo. Oh, now, cool. Jimbo, are you signing these pictures? Are they, yeah. If somebody yeah. wants one signed. They're already have, signed. He oh, signs, they're already yeah. signed. Yeah, I sign them all. all. The, ones online, you, the ones online that you can buy, are you signing those too? Yeah, yeah, I usually sign everything. It includes a signature? Yeah, everyone kind of wants the signature on there. So the signature. It's included, all right. yeah. Well, you know, Cab has a great print business. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then you should be doing that as well. Exactly. You know, you're a yeah. very established artist and prints are, and you go to the art shows and you can sell a $25 signed exactly. print and everyone can afford that and bring it home right not everyone can afford an original piece of art you know they go up to, you know a thousand couple thousand sometimes so it's you know 25 bucks for a print's really easy to do right and have you been selling fine art um yeah i mean uh mostly with the art shows you know um like i've been selling the you know the boards always sell from the uh from the board art, rescue yeah board rescue right. and uh I did let's wait a minute here. instagram name is what is it what is it what is it? Instagram name. Give us it. What is it? Colby Dash Phillips. No, Colby, Colby underscore. Col Phillips. Colby underscore Phillips. Give him a like. Oh, and then yep. there's a one at the end. Oh, and a one. Okay, Colby underscore Phillips one. What? You oh, forgot the one? Underscore. Yeah. Uh, I wonder Gosh, who darn, Colby Phillips is. Okay, <laughs> next week. Next week, we're looking for a guest for next week. I have no guest next week. I uh -oh. email Frosty. Hmm. Any suggestions for a guest? Email. For next week's show. Email OTL Radio Show at gmail.com. If you have a suggestion who we should have on the off the radio show, um, show will come up with somebody. Hmm. I'm thinking Meekster and the, uh, and the hmm. Lady Lurkers. Oh, oh the lady, The Lady yeah. Lurkers. Have you had Meekster on yet? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You had Meekster yeah, yeah. on yet. Yeah, he's all The down. head Lady yeah. Lurker, uh, Kim, is getting married, so we might have to put that off for a okay. couple weeks. All right. So <laughs> next week, looking for a guest. I'm sure we'll come up with somebody legendary as usual. But again, thank you to Jimbo Phillips. Colby, Jimbo. say good night, Colby. Yeah, Jimbo. All right, that was a lot say of fun. Say good night, Colby. Lorenzo. Hey, shh, Nipper, say good night. Do we have it now? Bye. Okay, good night. Lorenzo, say good night, Lorenzo. Good night. Okay, we want to thank you for listening to Off Lip Radio Show. I want to thank my sponsors for sponsoring the show. Without them, this show is not happening. Thanks, Chris. We'll be right back next week with another Off the Lip Radio Show broadcasting from Santa Cruz, California, surf oh. and skate capital of the world. Damn right. For news, sports, traffic, and weather, AM 1080, KSCO, Santa Cruz, San Jose. Once again this election day, McConnell survived a primary challenge from Tea Party candidate Matt Bevan. This race has always been much bigger than one candidate. It's just